Here's what I got. A microwave. Well, two microwaves. And today, I'm gonna fill this microwave to the brim with this 50 pound bag of popcorn kernels. But before I do that, I have a bunch of other stuff that I gotta nuke first. Like three bags of marshmallows, an iPhone, some old toys, and a bunch of other stuff. To the shop! Jumping right into this, we're gonna put a tomato in there, see what happens. All right, so I have no idea what's gonna happen here because I've never microwaved a tomato before. I left the tomato in for about 10 minutes, but I couldn't see what was happening because it steamed up the door. So the skin is just falling right off. This is how you make a good sauce. So I guess if you prep your tomatoes in the microwave before you make some spaghetti sauce, not a bad way to do it. Next up, we got grapes. I've heard a rumor that grapes glow in the microwave, but I don't know if that's true. Here we go. Well, it's completely steamed up now, we can't see in there too well. All right, I'm shutting this down. Oh God. <laughs> if you're looking to make some grape soup, put a bunch of grapes in the microwave and that's that's how you do it. All right, I'm gonna try one. Oh, it's very hot. That took all the good parts of a grape out of the grape. Wouldn't recommend it. Next up, ping pong ball. Yo! That is sick. All right, ping pong ball's in there. I feel like it's either gonna melt or it's gonna pop. See if anything happens. Nothing at all. These are microwave safe. Next up, we got Old Spice deodorant. Yo, it's gone. The deodorant is gone. It just disappeared. I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally boiling in there. It's starting to smell really bad, like the Old Spice in here. It's in my mouth. All right, I say we call it. Oh, God. Yo, check this out. Liquid deodorant. Then it was time for the balloon, and to be honest, I really wanted something cool to happen, but it turned out to be microwave safe. We all know we're not supposed to put metal in a microwave, but I'm gonna put this fork in anyway. Now I know what you're thinking. Jake, how can you afford to buy a fork? Well, that's because this video is sponsored by Moomoo. All right, let's do it. Well, hold up. What's Moomoo? It's an investing app. Like Robinhood? Well, it's more advanced than Robinhood. It's like a total upgrade. They're gonna charge me trading fees? No, they're commission free on stocks, ETFs, and options. Are they gonna charge me for level two market data? Nope, totally free. Wow, Robinhood charges $5 a month for that. Yeah, and they also have advanced charts and indicators, capital flow, ratings from a professional third-party analyst, stock screener, AI monitoring, paper trading. Oh, all right, all right, I'm in. Well, use my link in the description and you'll get a free stock anywhere from eight to $1,000. Wow. And if you put in $1,500, you'll get two free stocks. I'm gonna go put five grand in right now. Well, that'll give you four free stocks. All right, let's do this. Then I realized I was using a steel fork instead of an aluminum fork like an idiot, so nothing happened. Freaking hot, ow! Then I made something out of Play-Doh. We've got a very bad snowman. I can't see what's happening, but our snowman has fallen over. Oh God, <laughs> oh God! The snowman is burnt and it was slightly on fire. Oh God, burning my eyes, burning my eyes! Next up we got Woody. I don't know if that's him smoking or the Play-Doh. It's getting real smoky in here. I don't understand why literally just the dude's crotch is on fire. Just the legs! Why? Why just the leg? Next up, we got a rubber band ball. This took me about three hours total to make. And nothing happened. Microwave safe. Next up, we're putting in some aluminum foil. iPhone in there, but first I want to see what the CD does. Wow, look at that though. Next up, we got this iPhone. It turns on, but it doesn't work anymore, so let's see what happens. Shut right off. Oh, she's on fire. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, whoa. I think it's just purely on fire. Yeah, I, I would agree that it's on fire. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is this is what was once the the front of the phone. You can still see the home button there. That microwave just had a fire in it. So it was time to move to this microwave. All right, so I've got three eggs. One wrapped in foil, and I want to put one of them in the Play-Doh container just to see what happens. And in about 20 seconds, Oh God, well one of them just exploded. I think the other ones are gonna explode too. Oh Jesus, oh, oh my God, oh my God. It blew the freaking door right open. 
Yo, look at this freaking mess. If you've ever put a marshmallow in the microwave, you know it pretty much like double, triple, quadruples in size sometimes. So I'm gonna put all of these in there all at once. All right, well, they just turned into fluff. We made a big mess out of the microwave. All right, we set the microwave up outside because it was starting to get really smoky in there and we couldn't breathe at all. First things first, I need to see this thing die. All right, back up, back up, back up. Burn. Yo, that thing's smoking bad. Completely full of smoke right now. I'm a little concerned. I kind of don't want to open it. There's a fire in that. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, dude, that's like freaking orange gas. This Furby burnt from the inside out. Let's throw some batteries in there. The batteries reacted really cool. They were spitting straight fire in there. And then something really weird happened. So I don't know what the batteries actually did to the glass. They broke the microwave safe glass. How is a microwave not microwave safe? <laughs> My biggest concern here is that the door is not gonna be able to hold the weight of all the popcorn. There's probably 40 pounds worth of popcorn in there right now, probably more. I put it in for 35 minutes and I'm just now starting to hear some popping. It's only been in there for about a minute and a half right now. This is really exciting. I hope we can get the entire thing to pop. That'd be crazy. He's got an ear of corn. It's his cornea. That was a corny joke. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a lot of smoke billowing out from inside here. All right, it's been in there for about 20 minutes. This whole area smells horrible. I'm gonna let this counter drop. We got about three minutes left on here. All right, this thing's ready to open up. Oh, God. We got this big old clump of burnt kernel over here on the side. So this right here was stuck to the side of the microwave, stopping the rest of the kernels from popping. All right, it's time to blow this thing up. I do have a fire extinguisher and I also made this. This is a piece of conduit with a stick in it. So when I push it on this side, it runs all the way down to the other side where I can press the start button from a safe distance. It also has a rope on it so I can pull the door open when I need to. After trying a few more items with no luck, it was time to fill the microwave with gunpowder and racing fuel. microwave is absolutely toast right now. The microwave is hot to the touch. That's all I got. 